Hi guys, Rasmus here. Today we're going to be checking out the Boss MD2, the Mega Distortion. Um, so I guess this is somewhat in the class of Metal Zones and stuff like that. So it's distortion pedals from Boss that, well, are maybe not known to sound that great. Um, but today we're going to try it out. So the story about this pedal is that it's the first pedal I ever got. Um, so back when I started on my Fender Stratocaster and a little digital amp, I was like, oh, I need more distortion. So I brought this. And uh, lo and behold, I remember it sounding quite bad. Um, so I have this pedal for like 10, 11 years, um, and I haven't played it for at least five. <laughs> so uh, today we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna see what it sounds like. If it sounds like shit or if it's actually like a usable tone. So uh, let's plug it in. All right, so now we got the pedal plugged in. Um, I'm playing through my PV6505 here, uh, pedal going into the clean channel, which sounds like this. So not the best clean channel, but uh, it'll do. Um, so let's try and turn on the pedal. Um, so I got both the gain and the, or the distortion and the gain boost at uh, minimum, and the EQ controls in the middle and level in the middle as well. So first off, it drops quite a bit in volume compared to the clean channel. So let's uh, so let's crank the level a bit. So now level is at like two o'clock, and it's more like what we had before. So it's already adding um, a bunch of distortion, um, but not really anything I'd call metal yet. So let's try and add some more distortion. So now we have the uh, distortion up at around 11 o'clock. So it's definitely getting closer to like a, pre a good preamp sound, but uh, still not quite that much distortion. It also sounds um, a bit muffled, like there's kind of a, a carpet fluff thrown over the speaker. Very dark. So let's try and add a bit of treble. Yeah, so it has a dedicated uh, tone and a bottom switch, which is basically bass and treble. Um, I guess it was in to call them different things at some point in time. So here's with the treble at two o'clock. Much better if you ask me. Um. So let's uh, try with some more distortion. Now around two o'clock. It's starting to sound almost a bit like a, a fuss or maybe something like an HM2. <laughs> Um, and we don't even have the distortion all the way up, so let's just try it all the way up and see what we get. I'm not sure this is gonna be great. But... Yeah, it sounds more like a fuss than a distortion pedal at this point in time, I would say.
All right, so let's try and reduce the distortion a bit. So I think I'll set it back to around 12 o'clock. <laughs> And let's play around with the game boost. So yeah, I currently have that at zero. So eleven o'clock. It doesn't really seem to add that much more gain, it just seems to add more compression um, and maybe a bit more bass. So the sound gets looser, whereas before it was reasonably tight. But uh, yeah, we only have it at 11 o'clock, so of course we need to turn it up a bit more. Here it is at like 3 o'clock. <laughs> Again, we have a, like a really thick sounding distortion, um, a bit more in the fuss uh, kind of things and not so much like a, a metal sound. It lends itself well to lead playing, um, but not that much for rhythm playing. Of course, depending on what you're going for, but it's not really what I'm going for anyway. And all the game boost. Might be cool for some like doom metal riffing thing. Um, yes, yeah, so let's just try all the distortion, all the game boost. Why not? Um, oh, a lot of noise. <laughs> Yeah, that's not amazing in any way. Um, yeah, so let's try with uh, no distortion uh, and only the gain boost uh, all the way up. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, that could work as well. It gives some very different sounds. It's more of crunch sounds. <laughs> I think where it sounded best for metal what was with the distortion at around 12 and maybe the gain boost at around 9 o'clock. It's, it's, it's like a good preamp sound that really sounds like it wants to be boosted. So let's try that. So I've set it up with a tube screamer here, um, just a cheap Harley Benton tube screamer. Um, yeah, no drive, a bit of tone and uh, volume at uh, neutral. Sounds like this. <laughs> Yeah, and I think that's pretty much the best sound you can get out of this thing for metal is set it up with a, a reasonable amount of distortion, but not all the distortion, and then boost it with something like a tube screamer. Um, I think that's really the best way to go. So I hope you enjoyed my little demo here. Um, and I guess if you have a mega distortion, hopefully you got a bit of tips on how you can set it up to sound better um, by boosting it and not having that much gain on the actual pedal, pedal itself. Um, yeah, I'm wondering what what old kind of super distortion, um, you know, metal sound, whatever, uh, do you guys have lying around at, at home? So this is a pedal I have been had a, I have had lying around for ten years, um, and just kind of tried to plug it in, see what happened, and it's it's not as bad as I remember, but it's, it's given that I have a six five five, it's probably not going to be my my recording solution anytime soon. Um, yeah, but you always learn by checking out. Yeah, weird stuff like that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, maybe consider subscribing and leaving a like. Thank you guys. Bye.